this is my Junkman account. With a mere chunk in his possession and a dream in his heart, he began his quest to conquer the vast expanse of old school RuneScape's landmass. He started his journey from humble beginnings in Lumbridge, but with an arsenal of custom tasks, he has faced and overcome countless challenges. His journey has taken him through the trials of total level grinding, epic quests, mysterious clues and perilous encounters with fearsome bosses, all in order to unlock new chunks of land. Now halfway through the journey, the road ahead may be paved with even greater challenges, but with each obstacle overcome, he moves closer to his goal. So welcome to the second half of Chunkman DDK. Last episode we completed 3 tasks to obtain 3 chunks and those tasks were completing the pot of Glovery, killing Scorpia for the 50th time and lastly we got our first kill of Venenatis. The chunks we unlocked by doing those tasks were the southeastern part of Perthinus, the lair of Venenatis and the museum camp at Fossil Island. For our next chunk I want to do something a little bit more relaxing. And you can already see I have my butterfly net with me. So that means we are going to catch some eclectic implings and we are going to go for the next medium clue casket task. We need 25 caskets in total, but we already have two medium caskets. And that's because I was catching some karamb ones in some off time. I got a couple of levels and it's actually pretty good for clues. So I got a couple of easy and a couple of medium caskets because of that. So we actually need 23 instead. I feel like we have unlocked a couple of chunks which have some steps for medium clues. So I think this should be a little bit better than last time. We did need like 2000 eclectic implings last time. So let's maybe catch like 1000, 1500 and then we'll just open them all at once. Make sure that we have enough clues on the ground to complete a lot of them as the clues now stay on the ground for one hour, which is pretty amazing, definitely for this account. We are currently also 46k away from Hunter level 71. I'm not really sure if we're going to make that, but we'll see. And there's 71 Hunter. We should have about 1600 Eclectics in the bank. That's about 64 medium clues we can get at the 1 in 25 drop rate. But let's see if that's enough. And there we go. That's 25 caskets. And we even have 555 eclectic implings open. So this went extremely smooth. We had a lot of clues. We just didn't have to drop them. Because all of the steps we could do. There's only a couple of steps left that are on Zaya that I always have to drop. That won't change anytime soon. But on the mainland, we're actually not that far away from achieving all of the possible steps here. So that's really nice to see that the last couple of chunks we've unlocked have been a very big deal. And currently, if we look, I reset the tracker. We have done the 23 caskets in 46 medium clues. So it's still about 1 in 2, but I remember a moment where it was like 1 in 5, so I'm actually really happy about that. If we have a look at the ground, there's still a couple of them that I couldn't do in the corner here. But I also have two left on the ground because I always open 5 just to make sure. But we have two left over, I'm going to try to complete them as it would be a shame to waste these. And then afterwards we're going to open 25. If we get another casket or two, we'll have to leave those for the next medium clue task. And we ended up getting another casket, so we're up to 26. And the last medium clue has a step in Zea, so that's going to be a drop. So let me put it in the pile of shame. And then we will have to drop the master as well. We currently have a step for Fallow, but Fallow doesn't want to talk to us because we are not a Fremenic just yet. So 
I'm hoping for a better step as we could complete the master clue if we're extremely lucky and that would also be a task but it doesn't really hurt to try so I'm going to drop this one before we open the medium caskets and then if we go to our collection log for medium clues we currently have 225 medium clues opened we pretty much have everything we want from these except for the boots so ranger boots or wizard boots or only sandals if we get one of these three i would be over the moon if we get some just general adamant armor i wouldn't mind it because that would be good to train smithing in the giant's foundry anyway let's open 25 of the 26 caskets and let's see if we can snag one of those boots or get a master let's see can we do this one sherlock yeah, that might be possible but might also not be so let me drop that as well if we get a couple of them we might actually have a bigger shot at completing one but anyway let's continue Oh, there is our first unique, new unique, a green dragon height chaps G. Oh, we get double. It's not the U combo, it's the leprechaun hat and the honorable blessing that's new. Look at the hat. Fancy. Um, I'm also going to have to start wearing stuff because the bank is kind of looking full we have two spaces left so yeah with the zamorak page one and the caskets we pretty much have no space left we have way too much junk and i should probably clean out the bank sometime but that's a problem for later let's continue with the caskets well there's another one adamant shield heraldic four double unique but none of them are new wait didn't we just get a new honorable blessing and we got another one <laughs> okay oh yes we actually got them ranger boots on the account oh that feels good that feels so good I didn't actually think we were going to get them, but Rangers at 244 medium treasure trails. Oh, I'm really happy with that. I'm not actually sure how much better they are than the boots we have. The Sarah Dumen Dehyde boots, let's see. Oh, it has less defensive bonuses, has one prayer bonus less and only has one range attack bonus more. That's probably not even worth it to actually wear these. I did not think these were actually that bad. Alright, six more of the seven we have left to open. Let's see what's the next couple. And then the last one. Oh, we actually get another collection log slot. The Cabbage Round Shield. We've actually gotten quite a couple of new uniques. We started at 349 and we ended at 355. So six new uniques in the 25 we have opened. And I really need to go and do something about the bank and put these things in my house. But in general, pretty happy with the opening. We got ranger boots, although they are not that good, but it is what it is we'll probably still use them and i'm happy we got them before 400 because 400 is our last task and if we ever go to cerberus we have them to upgrade them so that's pretty good but for now we have completed 250 medium treasure trails that's a task completed let's go and complete it on our spreadsheet and let's get another chunk another relatively smooth clue opening we have completed 250 medium clues we have tasks until 400 so there's only a couple tasks left 
but I feel like these tasks will actually be quite fast as we pretty much have a lot of chunks unlocked that we need for them. So I might actually do some more in the near future, but let's complete this one first. This is going to be clue task number 59 that we have completed and landmass chunk number 330. And then back to our map. The last chunk we unlocked was the museum camp in Fossil Island. All of the adjacent chunks were either unlocked or unlockable. So that's again one less selected chunk. Up to 66 now. So we have 66 choices. A couple of them are water. A couple of them are pretty good. And most of them are actually not that great. But let's see what we are going to get. If I'm really picky... The couple of steps that I couldn't do would include this chunk here just below the fishing guild because if you can complete the biohazard quest or one after that I'm not really sure but then we could go to the combat training camp we have gotten that chunk but we cannot enter it because we do not have the quest for it there's also a step that we need to talk to someone over here and there's also a step in West Ardy and with Biohazard we get access to West Ardy. So that would be three steps that we could do just by unlocking one chunk. And I think the rest of the chunks that we are missing I think is near Relica or somewhere. There was one here as well that I noticed just above Eagle's Peak that had a step. So. A couple of them would still be useful for clue steps, but let's see which one we are going to get. Let's pick a chunk. Oh? That's not that bad of a chunk. The chunk east of Guttenaut. If you need to get here, you need to use this one here. So we have access to it. And it has a hard clue step. So that's definitely one thing that's useful here. And I think if we can unlock Guttenot itself, we can do the entire quest. Watchtower is what we need for that. So that's unlocked. And I think we need like these two chunks together with Guttenot to actually be able to complete it. So. It's not something that immediately gives us anything to do, but if we unlock Guttenot, that would be pretty nice. It's also a chunk that was fairly solitary and does not give us additional chunk rolls. So we are at 65 selected chunks now, so actually going pretty good. The number of available chunks that we can roll is going down. Alright, before we do anything else, we need to do something about these master clues. We cannot just leave them on the ground. So I'm not going to drop the one that has a fallow step. I'm going to keep that in the bank. And the other one I'm going to try. There's a very slim possibility that we are able to do it. But if we could actually complete one master clue, that would be amazing. And it would also mean that we can pick another chunk because it is a task to get one master clue done. So let's pick it up. Is it the right one? No, this one needs to be in our bank later. Let's pick up the other one. We have a Sherlock step. This can go either way. There's a lot of Sherlock steps we cannot do. But let's see. Okay, that didn't take long. Kill a lizardman shaman, that's like the furthest thing of what we could do, like it's even like in the furthest part of Zea. So yeah, okay, we'll just drop this one. We, If we kept this one in the bank instead of the other one, we wouldn't be able to do this any sooner than do fellow steps. So drop the master and let's do something to get another chunk. Oh my god, we actually... Wow. Um, yeah, let me teleport away. 
I was actually contemplating on what I was going to do for the newest chunk. In the meantime, I was doing some Barrows runs because Barrows is just great. And we still need quite a lot of items there. The main reason the Darrow's Great Axe is amazing is because that completes the set. So we have now one full set from the Barrows and it's actually probably one of the best sets. This now opens up possibilities to get another chunk in another way. Then I was thinking because I was thinking about just doing another 25 medium clues. But with this Darok set we can have a little fun. For example, if we go to Giant Mole, we have done the 250kc task. But we still have one left on the combat tasks and that's the hard hitter to kill the Giant Mole with 4 or fewer instances of damage. And pretty much the only way to do this is either with poison, but that takes ages, or with the Darok set. So that's one I'm going to do with this great axe that we have gotten. But then we will be 84 out of 85 that we need for a next chunk. And I think because we have unlocked... The chunk here with the rogue's castle, we now have access to these trees. So we also have 250 KC on the chaos elemental. But we also have one task left here and that's the flincher. And that's to take no damage from the chaos elemental. And that would put us up to 85 combat tasks completed for another chunk. So let's just say that the, what was that, 5 Barrows chests I've done while contemplating what we were going to do next definitely paid off. Alright, let's try this. We need 4 hits, but we kind of have an issue because we don't have any hit points lowering items. So we're just going to hit it. And hope it damages us. Maybe let's just remove the entire thing because we want to get hit. And we also do not have the Pelador shield to locate it when it's going to dig. So this is going to be pretty annoying to do. But we should be able to get the 4 hit kill in just a couple of tries I hope. Oh, that should be it. Okay. Um, I was actually struggling to do this and I did 10 kills at like 8 HP because I didn't know of a way how to get my HP to 1 but I pretty much learned that we could just use nettles to just get this. I even made them Zamorak Bruise because that actually damages you for a little bit. And the first kill I did with 1 HP and we got it. We have now green logged our combat achievements for the giant mole 6 out of 6 and we are 84 out of 556. So we need just one more to get our next task done to get another chunk. Alright, for the flincher I brought a longbow together with some broad arrows because I don't mind losing those. And there's the chaos elemental, please don't hit me. Yeah, of course you did. Uh, this is the stump we need to actually flinch it, but I'm gonna have to hop walls. But pretty much with the longbow on long range, we are going to lure it. Then, yeah, of course... Uh, well, this is going to be really fun, but yeah, we, we don't lose anything, like the magic longbows aren't worth anything, and all of the food I don't care about, some potions, who cares, but yeah. Uh, let's find another world and try to not get PK'd, I guess? But that's pretty much the strategy I'm going to do, to not get hit at the first hit, and then to flinch it. Well, 
these PKs are just so annoying. That fucked up my kill because I got hit by the Chaos Sally. And I have to put it into place again. Well, great. And there we go. That should be it. Yes, the flincher. An Aussie world to the rescue. And a total world. The clicks were really delayed, but we got what we wanted. It took a couple of tries because sometimes I just got hit with an attack. So this method isn't foolproof, but the magic longbow did its job pretty well. The kill was also like something of like two to three minutes, so it wasn't all that bad with some super attack, super strength, some prayer and our trusty Darox great act, really proving its worth with these two combat achievements. If we now look to the Chaos Elemental, we are now 4 out of 4, so we will not have to get back there for anything. And we are now at 251 KC, which does not look that great. I really liked the nice and round 250, but it is what it is. We came here for 85 combat tasks completed in total. We have reached that total with the two tasks. And 85 is another task to unlock another chunk. So let's go and do that. Well, it was definitely worth it to go for another couple of Barrow runs. That Darok's Great Axe will bring us a lot of joy. But for now, we have completed our next combat achievements task by completing 85 combat tasks. Let's complete it on our spreadsheet as well. That was our 17th combat achievement task and our 331st chunk that has been unlocked now. And then back to the map we go. Last chunk we unlocked was the eastern chunk to Guttenot. Doesn't really unlock many things as everything around it was already unlocked or unlockable. And it was also one of the fairly solitary chunks that we have left on our map. Let's see which one we are going to get. Let's pick a chunk. Okay, we do get a solitary chunk, but it's very far away and very useless. One of the island chunks just north of Fossil Island. It's not bad that we can check off these kinds of chunks, I guess because now we only have 64 selected chunks left. That's one less bad chunk we can roll. Oh my god. Well, I decided on some downtime to do some more barrows and I guess it pays off. Arim's rope skirt. Well, that was one of the items I really wanted. 1% magic damage and a lot of defenses. This is definitely better than what we currently have. Let's have a look. Our best mage bottoms are mystic row bottoms. If we look at the difference. Oh yeah, this is definitely better. The magic percent damage, a bit more magic attack bonus. Range bonus doesn't really matter. And then a lot, a lot more defenses. Oh, that's great. I kind of like that I've been doing some battles in between tasks and we just keep getting items. Like, the Darug's Great Axe was a really big help for our previous task. The Adam's Rope Skirt will definitely carry us until we get probably to the end game. So, I guess I'm still going to do some runs in between some tasks because this is just amazing. The two items we've gotten in just like 10 kills? 9 kills even. So yeah, here's to hoping we either get the Gutten's Plague Body, the Adam's Rope Top or one of the two Carol's pieces in the next time we go for some chests. 
And with another really good item added to our arsenal, we have reached the end of the episode. Bado seems to be the gift that keeps giving, so I'm just gonna keep going back in between some tasks. But that will be for next episode, so for now, have a nice day and see you all in the next one.